first love, I mean puppy love, the very first time, your heart's all a flutter, butterflies in your tummy, you're so anxious you can't even talk. So what's going on medically speaking? Well, when you're in relationship bliss, there's two hormones surging through your body. Oxytocin, the so-called bliss hormone, and dopamine, the reward hormone. Then it ends. And then it feels like you were gut punched. Your heart aches, your stomach aches. It's all physical. You think it's never gonna end, the world will never be the same, you'll never be happy again. And the stress hormones, cortisol and epinephrine, are flooding your arteries. Can you die of a broken heart? The short answer is yes. Rarely this surge of hormones turns into a tsunami and you end up with chest pain. Short as breath and your heart just kind of is stunned. Now you're in trouble. Now you're in my world. The myocardium doesn't function. Can't pump the blood. So occasionally, a breakup is a heart attack. But man, is it rare. Most of the time, all you need is a pint of haagen a couple of beers. I mean a couple. If you find yourself obsessed about it, you're boring your friends, you're crying a lot, you're weeping. It can give you some meds to get you take the edge off, get you through the hump. But don't prolong the misery. No social media stalking. No getting on Facebook every five minutes to see what they're up to or have they changed their status from relationship to single, no drunk dialing, no texting. Above all, no sexting. It's over. As a doctor, I want to reassure you, the human heart is resilient. It will recover just in time to get it broken again. It's called love, and we're all addicted to it. We have more relationship stuff on Dr. Chambers on Call After Dark.